Hello and welcome to the first official Fast Fact Friday brought to you by the Community Environmental Legal Defense Fund and their awesome communications team. Today we're going to be breaking down rights of nature. Environmental degradation is advancing around the world. The United Nations has warned that we're heading towards major planetary catastrophe. For this reason, there is a growing recognition that we must fundamentally change the relationship between humankind and nature. Under the current system of law, nature is considered to be property. When something is considered property, that often gives the property owner the right to damage it. Therefore, those who own these natural communities are largely allowed to use them however they wish, even if that includes destroying it. Rights of nature is honoring and recognizing that nature has the right to exist, flourish, and thrive. Laws recognizing the rights of nature change the status of these ecosystems to being recognized as rights-bearing entities. It means recognizing that ecosystems are living, thriving communities. Now, we're not talking about giving every tree a lawyer. We're talking about creating a guardianship so that ecosystems can be seen in court as more than just a place to stick the next future Superfund site. And this idea isn't new. It's been around for millennia. We see our legal system fail to adjust to the thought of giving ecosystem rights. We see it panic and buckle under the pressure of people-led movements against climate change, biodiversity loss, and environmental justice. Those in power are running scared. Rights of nature is a threat to the status quo. It's why local efforts have been preempted and kept off the ballot and why we must be persistent in pushing back and calling out injustice. At CELDEF, we're working with communities all over the world to amplify not only their voice, but nature's voice. If you want to learn more, head over to celdef.org and reach out. We hear you.